guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your favorite baby girl moya sorry and and thank you guys so so much for coming back again if you're a new subscriber welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome and thank you um today's video let's go straight to the point there's no need to cut corners you know go straight to the point i'm going to be reviewing the fenty perfume now, um, when I unboxed this on my Insta story two days ago, my DMs went crazy, guys. They went crazy. Everybody was like, what does it smell like? How did you get it? Blah, 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 blah. Because we know, we ourselves know that Nigeria is always the last place to get everything. And we end up getting things way past, you know, when it's been launched or released. And we're just like the last people always get on the bandwagon but I have news for you how to get things in seven to ten days from the US yeah so if you want to see how I got the perfume how I feel about the perfume if I think it's worth it keep on watching and thank you see you yeah okay so first of all this is the package okay before we get into the package I placed my order it was looking sold out and I don't know, I placed my order on the 8th shower. Among the early access, somewhere in between that time, I placed my order way before the 10th, I think on the 8th or on the 7th. And the perfume was $120 and then tax was $9. So there was no shipping within the no shipping fee within the US. So I shipped to my cargo called Beltok Cargo. Um, they are based in the US and if you want them to ship for you, you have to like sign up and they ship. I think now they ship $5 per pound or per kg, something like that. But they also have, and that takes about two to three weeks. And then they also have express shipping, which you get in like one week to 10 days. So I paid for express shipping and that cost me an additional $20 to get it here in one week. So in total, at the Nigeria, and I spent like... $150 getting this bad boy here to Lagos, Nigeria. Can you imagine that? Anyway, so yeah, this is the package. This is the outer package. And when you open it, it says Fenty Skin. Just like with Fenty. Yada, 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 yada. And then some packaging paper. Obviously, I already opened this on Insta Story, so it's not like brand new or whatever. And there is the perfume looking sweet so yeah this is how the perfume comes and obviously i already ripped out this um plastic covering but it was supposed to be sealed with this fenty logo monogram sealing it right with the fenty logo monogram sealing it but yeah that's how it came so let's rip out the plastic let's pretend like i'm just ripping it out for the first time right so rip out the let's rip out the plastic covering and and let's get right into the baby oh 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 my god guys she's she's so pretty and i just like the contrasting blue color it's not a color I would have expected I have to like an off-white or like a very pastel-y blue but this is like a what color is this turquoise it's like a turquoise blue color and then you slide out come on slide I'm supposed to slide it out right hold on okay yeah I was right so here she is this is the packaging and then you slide out the you get that you slide around and there you go you have your perfume right there in the a very brown golden minimal quite unattractive if i say so like it's it's not it's just there so this is the bottle up close and obviously fancy is monogrammed on the cap it has like a gold rim detailing Really guys, that's all there is to the bottle. 
So for $120, you get 75 ml worth of product, which is, is not exactly cheap. Most of my perfumes that are around $120 to $150 are 100 ml or more, or 120 ml worth of product. So this one, being 75 ml, is not exactly the cheapest thing, right? So the cap comes off, yeah, pretty, I mean, yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. come on mama. So immediately I spritzed this bottle, it took me straight to Kayali's Elixir perfume and they have the same um, patchouli musk kind of scent but the blueberry in um, Fenty makes the whole difference. It has magnolia, musk, tangerine, blueberry, Bulgarian rose, geranium and patchouli. It's a very unique blend that expresses itself uniquely on each wearer for a one-of-a-kind sense that is hot and pure soul. This is a fantasy. I wanted to experience truth. Fenty Eau de Perfume is for remembering what's real. I made a fragrance for myself. Now I'm sharing it with you. Now this perfume, was it what I was expecting? Not really. I was expecting something um, more sensual, more sexual, more seductive this is very borderline floral musk and citrusy somewhere in between the borderline it's more of an androgynous scent to me it's more of when they say unisex scent this is what i want a unisex bottle to smell like not extremely woody not extremely florally or rosy just perfect now, is this my go-to scent? No, I usually do not gravitate towards scents like this because they're just... You, 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 don't, you don't smell them. They don't project so far. But when you catch a wind, you smell, you smell them. It kind of also reminds me of baby powder, of Johnson baby powder lotion kind of thing. They have the same citrus musky fresh baby's butt kind of scent um so i wore this throughout yesterday and i got about a good six seven hour wear i didn't like if you leave the room and come back you probably won't smell it but if you go to that part of your body where you spread it or sniff around your clothes you would get the smell it's not exactly a head turning scent no it's not gonna turn heads but you're going to smell good you're going to smell different. It's very, it's a very different unique DNA. You don't get to see it everywhere. I can appreciate the blueberry notes in here, although I'm not a fan of patchouli at all. I kind of hate the way it smells like green grass. It's not my thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can appreciate the musk in here. It kind of makes it um, fresh, <laughs> kind of, if I say so. Um, this was a very safe launch from the brand to the fans. When you, we know that both male and female people are fans of Rihanna, are fans of Fenty Beauty, fans of Fenty Skin. So this is a very safe unisex perfume. Yeah, I think that people would like it. And it layers well with, I like, I'll layer it with other really sweet perfumes to get, um, to get a more sweeter scent overall. I'm not mad about the perfume. I wouldn't use it as a day-to-day -day scent. It's more of maybe meetings, maybe brunch, like occasions, not really date nights, but like just occasions, maybe weddings kind of scent. Yeah, and the perfume kind of smells the same way throughout. Like it's not like starting off sweet and going musky or starting off spicy and going soft. No, it's just like the same smell you get when you spray it, it just smells like that throughout the lifespan. Overall, I'll give it like a 6.5, 7. I feel like it's lacking a strong dry down, like a different dry down. Like if there had been some strong vanilla here or amber or sandalwood, it would have like changed the orientation a little bit. But with what we have, 
um, it's just, I mean, I don't think Rihanna smells like this to be fair. <laughs> I don't think this is where we, this is when they say, oh, Rihanna smells so good, it smells like heaven. Nah, I don't think this is, this is where she smells or this is what she sprays to smell that good. Yeah. Do I think you should buy it? Yes, because you will have nothing like this in your collection. Trust me. You know sometimes you get some vanilla rose perfumes and you're like, I can easily dupe that, I can easily mix that. No, you cannot mix, you cannot get, you can't achieve this with anything that you possibly own. And if someone, I'm someone that has almost 30 or 40 bottles opened and I've tried a lot more. I haven't smelled or used or owned anything like this. Do I think you should go out of your way to get it? I don't think so. I think you should try a sample first because it's a very rare androgynous scent. I don't think everybody would like it. People are like very sweet, very rosy, very sexy. Rose, vanilla, nah, you're not gonna get that here. You're not gonna like this one. It layers well with other sweeter, other stronger perfumes. Like it's a perfect base, it's a perfect build, but I don't, it's not going to be like, yeah, what are you wearing? <laughs> no, you're not going to get that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the review. Do I regret buying? Absolutely not. I mean, we understand. So I'm going to buy what I'm going to buy. <laughs> so that's like, oh my God. Yeah, I'm not mad about the perfume all in all. I just think that a good base would have made a difference yeah, thank you guys for watching thank you for everybody that requested i hope i have answered you guys now don't forget to subscribe like comment share let me know if you'll be getting this perfume based on my review do you think it's a must have or do you think you just pass on it and wait for another lunch let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye